All right, so how do we get notes on any instrument to go higher or lower? Because it's when, it's when notes go higher or lower, that's how we make melodies. So there's three main things which will enable notes to go higher or lower. So the first thing is the size of the instrument or if I have a guitar, the size of the string. Now you can't really see it, but the strings here, they're very small, and the strings down here are very low. Or sorry, these are very small, these are very large. So a larger string will sound lower, and a smaller string will sound higher. So it's the size, and it's the same thing, um, like for example, a tuba is very big, so that will have a very low sound, whereas a trumpet will be smaller, that will have a very high sound. Okay, so it's the size of the instrument will tell you if it's going to be higher or lower. All right, now the other thing is the length of the instrument. So, or even with an instrument that you have, if you make it longer, like a trombone, you stretch it out, the note will go down. And if you bring the trombone in, the note will go up. So, right now the string is vibrating between this thing here, which is called the bridge, and this thing here, which is called the nut. Okay, so it's, that's the length of the string. If I shorten the string, like suppose I'll take this nut here, and I'm going to take a little a, just a tube of metal, and I'm going to go like this. So now the string's vibrating against the nut, but if I shorten it, I have it and it, touch it with this piece of metal, the vibrating part of the string is getting shorter and shorter. So the sound is going higher. So as so basically, at first it was vibrating between here and here, and then it got shorter and shorter. So now it's only vibrating between here and here. So about half the size. Let's hear that again. So this is the full length of the string. And I'm shortening the vibration, shortening the string. And the sound is going up. All right. Okay. The third way, I'm gonna, if I turn these little pegs, I'm actually loosening the string. So it's not as tight. This little thing is turning, the string is getting lower. When it goes, things go looser lower. So let's take these two notes here. I've got a string here, which is a thicker string, and I've got a really, really thin string, but it's very, very loose. So now they're the same. Hear how they're the same? Tighten the string, listen to it go up. I'll go back and forth. And it kind of smooths out there. Why does it smooth out there? Almost the same. Almost sounds the same, but it's not the same. What was actually the same that's the same, and I tighten it.
almost sounds the same, but they're not. It's kind of reached a special frequency where it sounds the same, but it's not. That is called an octave. And the cool thing about that is there's a scientific reason why it sounds kind of the same and it kind of smooths out. It's because one string is vibrating exactly twice as fast as the lower string. So as the sound waves are going through the air, you get a lot of the same waves. Every other wave is going to sound the same, so that's why it sounds smooth. So it's twice the frequency. A frequency is the scientific term for higher or low pitch, okay? But you don't say, hey, play me a 440. No, you'd say, play me an A, right? Because musicians talk about things in the terms of letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it repeats. So, anyway, um, that is the three things how we get pitch to go up and down. The size of the string or the size of the instrument, bigger things will sound lower. The length of the instrument or the length of the vibration, when things get shorter, they go higher. And the tightness, the tighter something goes, the higher it goes. So even if you're playing a trumpet, you know, how come without pushing any valves, any fingers, you can get low notes and high notes? Because your lips, they're tightening. Okay, so when things get tighter, like pitch goes up, frequency goes up. And when things are shorter, pitch goes up. And when things are smaller, like the smaller strings, the pitch is higher. Okay, there's also a fourth one that's the type of material, like the density of, like, you know, it's this nylon or is it metal or is it nickel or is it copper or whatever but that's kind of really specific for kind of string instruments or whatever but those main main three things the size the length and the tightness okay that will make things go up or down in music all right all right that's my scientific uh talk about that and remember that octave is a very important thing that means when it goes up that far and it kind of sounds smooth, almost the same but different, that's because it's twice the frequency. And the scientific term for that is called Hertz, H-E-R-T-Z. So if this A here is vibrating 440 times a second. No, sorry, 220 times a second, or 220 Hertz, and this a here is vibrating 440 times a second, or 440 hertz. 220, 440. Octave. All right. See ya.